The van. The monk mobile. Loaded up. We got some boxes for a surprise. And we are headed to Mississippi to wrangle us some bees. <laughs> Well, me and Charlie, we've made it to our destination here in, where is it? We're in uh, Long Beach, Long Beach, Mississippi. Come on, Charlie, get in there. Come on. There he is. I told you he's ready. He got me up early for this. Yeah, we got, we, we're, it's early still in the morning. It's only about 8.15 right now. We, I left the Abbey right at 6. Picked Charlie up about quarter to 7. Now we're over here. It's right around 8 o'clock. So, today, our bees are... You know, it's so typical. Wherever you have the the different type of siding on the house, like this one, the brick on the bottom, and the veneer on the top, wherever it, that overlap is, the bees will somehow get underneath that different material, find their way to the floor joists, and then make their, their hives in that. And this is exactly what's going on. So the bees are in the floor joists between the first and second floor, and it's in a bedroom and we have the carpet that's going to be uh, rolled back. I'll cut the subfloor out and maybe we'll even get to lift that hive up with uh, one one shot. Pull it up. Set it down. Put so it back. But by the grace of God, these bees right here, they're coming back to the Abbey with me. Oh, and there is a surprise coming. You just will have to wait for it. Ready, Wrangle? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's this. do it. Our bees are right here. You can see where the screws are that are holding down the plywood. There's a couple of nails too. So it's a good good little line where I'll be able to draw my line to cut and the bees will go all the way to this joist right here. So this is where the, the end of the hive will be. I'm going to show you right now what they look like on the flare and it, it's, it's an impressive signal. Look at that signal. Wow. Strong, strong. It's a lot of bees in there. A lot of comb and you can see where the little cross mark is the hive goes all the way to the end of the wall right there comes back 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 and this is where the end of the bees are but they're gonna go all the way to right here where that seam this is the end of the bees and then they'll come to the seam right here I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the floor right here Screw some handles onto it. Get our saw horses up here and try to pull this hive out uh, as intact as we can possibly do it. It's all cut out, but I I really rather doubt that I'm going to be able to lift it up right away. I'll probably have to come back and trim up some other places where it's not cut all the way through. So that would be the first thing. And the second thing is because I don't know which way the comb is running, whether it's running this way or running this way, we don't know that and so this really determines on how much of the hide is going to come up as I lift it. So you know there's, there's questions that you just don't know until I actually I start doing it, but either way we're going to lift this board up, how much of the hide comes with it we don't know, so I don't know whether 
most of the removal is going to be done on the saw horses or me on my knees down here pulling them out the floor. But it's going to happen. So by the grace of God, let's get this thing started. Dirk Ross to Randy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I thought that was my husband. I called. You don't make it to Mississippi yet? Uh, I'm pulling the floor up right now. Uh, man. You're going to be done before I get there, ain't you? No, we'll see. We'll see. I might leave something for you. Okay. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Say up there. Uh, you see that's a small hive? <laughs> well, it's got a lot of honey in it. I pull it out the the wall of the floor, and this is what came up. And I'm of the opinion that our queen is in here because down here is all honey down in here. I see a little, nope, and I think it's all funny. All right, let's go ahead and now I see some brood in here. So, but I think the majority of our bees are on that piece of plywood I picked up. And we got some to do down here, but it's not that bad. But I'm gonna start on this area down here. I'm not worried what's on the plywood, they'll stay there, but I'll get these out of here.
Look at this. You animal. <laughs> he snuck in on us, man. I'm sneaky. Get him out of the way so I can finish the job. That's it, yeah. So no, I know how you don't like doing this on your, your, your knees. I know that. This is taking way too long. It's over two hours. Set this whole set up so that I can get you over here to I'm gonna show you what a queen bee looks like when she's on the comb. Okay. I appreciate you doing a one-on-one -on -one teaching session like this. And look, this is this is at no charge, no charge. Oh. This is this is just out of. You I know. thought you were going to ask for at least a donation to the Abbey or something. No, not this time. But, but there's always another time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what we got is we pulled all the comb out from underneath that in that floor over there, and I'm telling you. That was a lot of comb in that floor. And I really did, I've always thought right from the beginning that our queen was going to be here because this was the newest comb. But when we're going through all that stuff, man, there was some brand new comb with brand new brood on it in there. But just based on how these bees right here are acting right now, how calm as they are, I, I, I really believe she's still on here. And, and I tried to, when I came in, he was down there in the floor, and I was going to try to be funny and grab him and move him out of the way. <laughs> he could have done that easy. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he doesn't weigh anything, but that, it's like grabbing a bar of soap. That suit, that suit, was, that suit was slipping around. It was like, That's honey. That's the like, honey oil. It's like the skin slipping on a dead cat or something, you know. I tried, he getting kind of slick. I was like, I'll just leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that 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 made me jump because I knew it couldn't have been Charlie that did that. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and I'm a, I'm, you want to put a suit on? Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm scared. Yeah, okay. Scared well, half to death. You want you, you we could go ahead and let you suit up and and you know if you want to wear a full body suit, that's probably be best, you know. But <laughs> if you but, wrap my legs in gorilla tape, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go through this. Bit by bit, and as you can see, this comb is brand new white, and I probably won't be able to use any of this stuff. And I'm, I'm hoping that there's just going to be a lot of honey on it. And so Jeff and Sophia, the homeowners, they're going to get uh, this stuff, and it'll be easy for them to crush and strain it. It's going to be it's going to be a really good deal for them, because these bees they've got enough honey with what the, uh, in the comb that we've got, and with our, our tallow getting ready to start. It's starting right now. We got three weeks of that with a number of bees in here. The cone that these guys will be fine. They'll be just fine. So, Randy's suiting up, you know, because that guy, you know, he is a he, he is a little bit nervous. He's suiting up, and we're gonna come in here and we're gonna remove all this stuff. I better get a little bit of taste of that too. Oh, it tastes good. I don't taste any honeysuckle. No, there, there you go. There's some. That's what I really thought this stuff was going to be. Mmm. That's good. That, that's a af good aftertaste from this. Mmm. Oh, it does. And you're going to get a bunch. This is a lot. Is it a lot? You, oh, you'd yeah. be surprised how much honey you can squeeze out of this stuff. And these are all white because what'd you it's say? Brand new cone. Brand new cone. Mm -hmm. okay. Brand new. Brand new cone, and it, then it just evolves into what it's got. Yeah. Once it, once the bees start walking on it, and the queen starts laying in it, it darkens out. Okay. But this stuff is primo. Does she go lay an egg up in each one of these things? Yeah. Well, eggs are um, honey. honey. I mean, it, the cell is built. For storage, so what they store it, it depends on what the hive is doing, whether they're bringing in uh, honey or whether the queen is laying in it. Okay. Yeah. 
area. So what I'm doing is I'm just moving this car right now. And, and now we're, we're not going to use it. No, this. Uh, that's, that's a little snack for you. <laughs> promised you to uh, to show you where where the where the queen is, right? All right. So you ready? You ready? <laughs> you gonna point at the box? <laughs> she's, she's right in there. Yeah. So I can so I can go. Yeah, I got her. So right. what do, what do we say when we catch the queen? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, she's in the box. She's in the box. This is that. In order to get Jeff in frame with me, I have to do the Instagram angle. <laughs> Well, that's because I'm so short and he's so tall. He's so small, he always looks like he's far away. <laughs> I know you are disappointed because you came here with these high expectations. Mr. Ed's going to show me what a queen looks like. I'm not disappointed, I'm ashamed of you because I know that you <laughs> sucked her up on purpose knowing that I was coming. Well. Okay, so that just makes me sad for you. Well, all right. Well, uh, I know you got to run, and Charlie and I are going to finish this thing up. But, uh, brother, woo, yeah. Look, I got to stand and jump up. <laughs> and I can barely make it up to his head. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Randy. Thanks so much, brother. Now, all that, all that honey that we cut out of there, this stuff is 
too soft. It's, it's, it won't even frame up. This stuff, it's no good for us. This is just an invitation for the Beatles. So I'm going to show Sheila and Jeff the, uh, the process we use to uh, crush and strain it. This is really like, uh, some people find this meditative, like the sound. Listen to that sound. Not, not peanut, but listen. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to take that comb. And we can just go break it. And, yeah. Oh, we can do that. Uh. So, did you break this off? No. Yeah, yeah, you can break that But off. did you squeeze these? If there's nothing in it. There's nothing in that. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, you don't want to do that. Nothing? No. Uh -huh. Let me make sure there's no brood oh, in there. Oh, wait, I have to. Yeah, we don't want to squeeze the brood in there. And the brood is the baby? Yeah, the babies. We don't want to squeeze that in there. So that will be right there. We have to clean that in. Alright? So go ahead and give it a, a good squeeze. Oh yeah, both hands. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this one's got brood in it too, so we're going to get rid of this. So what do you do with this stuff? Drop it what in there. What is this it's called? Problem. That's the money. That's stuff. That's why I'm gonna take it. It's just why? Yeah, it's you just why. Yeah, yeah. I want. Do that. they attract to that? No, no. I, I, I melt that down, and. Uh, well, you aren't taking the honey. No, this is for you. Well, didn't you keep some? No, I don't want any. No, I, I'm gonna just give it all to the bees. <laughs> we have plenty, honey. Yeah, we have plenty. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, you want to give up? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me pull this stuff off. I'm all about therapy. <laughs> Should I wash my hands first? Just kidding. Oh, no way. It's honey. Just kidding. Yeah, get into it. Oh, it's just water in the plants. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got the comb crushed. And, and we went through this really, really, it's not a filter, but it's a strainer. <laughs> and so we still have a lot of the wax that went through it. So we're going to take this all this off. We're going to take this off right now and I'm going to take all this comb back. I want the wax. I put that down. I'll feed all that to our bees. Whatever honey is left on that, I'll give that to our bees. Now, now that we got the strainer off, we're going to put it through a little bit finer. And then you see there's little wax yeah. particles on there. So this strainer, this strainer will, will do it out. And so, let me do it. And so all we're going to do I'll find it when you leave. Oh, yeah. Hope that pot's big enough. You may have to Can lift it up. up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's coming through good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, that strainer will catch a lot of this wax. You'll, you'll never get all of the wax out of it. I've seen jars where they still have some. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jeff, let me have that spatula. Okay. And I'll scrape this off because you all want to get all your honey. Get it? Yum. There's dinner, honey, right there. <laughs> now, something else you can do is let it sit uh -huh. for several hours or maybe till tomorrow and then get some saran wrap and then push down on top of the honey. Yeah. Because all the uh, particles that float will come to the top. Oh, no, and then you it. grab the center of that saran wrap, you pick it up, and it all sticks to, uh -huh. it. Sticks to it. Wow. You throw that away. Hmm? Let's see. If we can I don't know if it's going to. There you go. That'll work. Out. Like that. There yeah. you go. Now just, just don't let, just don't touch touch don't let peanut jump up there. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right, wait, so. wait y'all stay till it's done, right? <laughs> it's like watching the paint dry. Yeah. Well, well, well. <laughs> that was a great day. Uh, Dirt Rooster got to make a, a guest appearance. I, you know, disappointed that that we didn't able to point out the queen to him, but I, I, I think that he's seen one or two in his day. So I really have to ask 
Jeff, the homeowner. And, you know, he does have a good name, don't he? <laughs> so, what, what, is, what is your take uh, for the day? Oh, everything and more. I, I, everything I thought was going to happen happened today. I, I loved every minute of it. I appreciate all the work you guys did. And, and like I said, I told them, I can't, when I retire, I want to come work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yes, I've got a niche for this stuff. Man, doesn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff was up there with his iPad. He was video. He was looking for the queen. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to find that queen. I, it, it's, it's very interesting stuff. Yeah. He said that he's been watching videos on bees too. Yeah. And Sheila, what about you? I loved it. it what pretty, did you do? Uh, took Peanut outside. Most, where is Peanut? Yeah, know. what happened to, to Peanut? Call her. Did she get out? A whole night. Peanut. She's upstairs. We just heard her. You heard her. Call, call. Peanut! She's got to get her. Peanut! She's got to get her. Let me go get her. There she is. Come on, Peanut. You <laughs> Peanut's here. Come on, Peanut. Peanut did not. And like this it. is Peanut! <laughs> she, sure, Peanut. She wants to be in the video. She needs to be in the video with us. She was involved in the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. She was, she was supervising, making sure that Randy didn't go off with anything that he shouldn't have, <laughs> and, and that make sure that Charlie did a good job videoing. That's it. I just think it's cool. It's, it's just God's hand and all of it. It's, it's really neat. It's a and, lot of work, though, I didn't realize. So Sheila called me, it's been at least a month, mm -hmm. six weeks probably, and I was back and forth with Mona in Texas, and, and uh, it just never, never really had the chance to come out here. And so she kept on saying, well, no, you, know, you tell me. Well, well I said, um, can you come get these bees? And he said, yes. And then I said, when? And then he said, one day, like a Monday. And then he said, well, call me on Monday. And I did. But then he couldn't be here to watch. Then it was the next Monday. I think you were out of town. And then anyway, it just happened. And, and it, what did you call him? Um, well, I had, we went through something real strange in our family. And, you know, we say our rosary every day together. We really do. And I asked for a legion of angels. I did get a legion of angels. How many you think? Little winged creatures. <laughs> little winged creatures. So be careful 000. what you pray for. <laughs> I really did. And uh, yeah. That was the story she told me. She was praying for a legion of angels. I and did. She said, All right, so we're going to wrap this thing up. Charlie? Yes. What do you it's have to time. say? It's time. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. <laughs> we'll be making more. God bless. Sheila. Mr. Red. Jeff. Good time, Charlie. We're out of here until the next video. And peanut. And peanut. 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 God bless. Bye bye. <laughs>
Jesus, woo! All right, we're gonna put it right over here. Let these bees come to it. Good. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Go zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, because my kitchen looks terrible. And, uh, and kick it up a little. Zoom in a little bit more. Kick it up a little. Yeah, can we can we turn and look that way? Who cares? You good, Sheila? Yeah, we don't. I mean, it looks, like, it looks like a trashy kitchen. No, we don't. Who cares? <laughs> How's that look? We good. All right. Hey, hey. <laughs> Let's see if you... Uh, zoom, zoom in, boy. That's too... That's too... Much. Well, got to be careful now. Randy's here, you know. Hey, come on, come on. That's an idea. Now, turn it up. Turn this way a little bit. There you go. There, there you go. <laughs> All so right. You scoot that way a little bit. No, you scoot that way. Or if you want to stand in front of me. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you can you, I'd have to jump to get in front of you. No, you can stand in front of me. That would <laughs> cut out some of the fat comments. <laughs> 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 